Hello, welcome to Age of Empires 2. Today we're going to be playing a custom scenario called the Siege of Constantinople. This is based on the Arab Siege of Constantinople, which happened about 700 years before the Ottoman takeover of Constantinople, hence why we're playing against the Saracens instead of the Turks. There is one immediate issue with the way this map is set up. Uh, the map creator has forgotten to set the teams. It's supposed to be Team 1, the Byzantines, of course, Team 2, the Saracens. And uh, when I saw him play it, at least, he played it with a 5 minute treaty length, so that's what we're going to go with. However, as you can see, the map itself is actually really meticulously designed, uh, right down to the locations of the individual monasteries and things like that. Supposedly the map creator literally studied a map in order to design Constantinople here, uh, and it does look absolutely fantastic. As you can see, we've got the Arch of Constantine here, the Hagia Sophia, and uh, we actually start off with a few Fetorias, which is obviously very unusual for the Byzantines and going to be very helpful I think because the Saracens are going to attack from the west here you can see they've already kind of kicked things off uh, towards the east we've got the Galatic Guard our allies and we now have five minutes to prepare before a very large attack comes in so let's have a look for where our various villages are unfortunately because of the the way treaty works, um, the Saracens are apparently able to just march straight into the town with their villages and things, so we really don't want to let them do that if we can avoid it. And uh, these farms are not actually farms, they are just a terrain effect, so we need to lay the farms ourselves. That'll have to do for now, there's not an awful lot of space there. Uh, quite a few spare villages here, so let's just send them over to chop some wood. Uh, they're actually trading with us, so yeah, I don't think the AI particularly understands how treaties actually work. Uh, that trade is not going to last very long. But uh, we need to start gathering up our units and prepare for the attack. Let's see how many things have we actually got. So we can upgrade immediately to Halberdier, which I think we should, which is all of our gold gone, but still, we're going to be getting quite a lot of that from the Fatoria. Uh, let's drop an extra lumber camp here. Spawn point. Just try and set up as much economy as we can so these guys are all free. Trade cog here, we're going to send over to trade with the Galatic Guard. This one likewise. Let's see how long have we actually got. I've managed to switch off the timer. I'm trying to remember how that actually works. Okay, so we've already used up half of our time, which is not great. Okay, let's throw that down. Let's start moving. Our units across. You can see the sheer number of Saracen units gathering outside our walls. We're going to need a lot more than what we currently have. Let's see how many archery ranges we got. Just the three. Let's throw down a few skirmishes. Uh, let's throw down as many halberdiers as we can. We do have a really good amount of food and wood coming in. Send these down too. It definitely looks like the strongest attack is going to be coming from the southwest. Uh, we can actually see a castle there that we could potentially attack nice and early on. Saracens are starting to build their pointless town center, um, but that's fine, we can obviously take that out pretty quickly. Okay, one minute left of the treaty. Uh, we're going to have to set our spawn point somewhere, so let's go for this. This doesn't appear to be working, so I'm going to have to waste a little bit of wood here just to reset this. And any extra villages we have. I think we're going to have to set up a few extra military buildings because what we currently have is probably not going to be enough. In terms of stables, we've actually got five of those, so that's not bad. Uh, let's go ahead and produce a few knights. As uh, I think... Yeah, it's just about to kick off in a matter of seconds. We can see a trebuchet here, so let's try and target that down. Siege workshops, we've got a couple. There we go, we've already kicked off. Let's see. See, as expected, the heaviest attack is coming in from this side. Uh, we have managed to catch out a few villages and things. Trade cart's actually still going in, trying to trade with us. Um, but they are going to come with a very large force very quickly, so can't get too complacent here. Let's see, can we actually hit this from here? We can't. Okay, so let's focus on taking out the opposing trebs. I believe I saw one up here. Looks like we managed to take it down, I think. Okay, that's all fine so far. Let's keep the halberdiers coming. Okay, so this is bringing down our tower. Let's send a melee unit up to deal with that. Let's get 
upgrade chemistry and let's upgrade our armor. As yeah, you can see they're really starting to pile in pretty quickly here. Gonna need to send a few villages over. Let's try and throw up an extra castle. Try and focus down the trebs if we can. Yeah, they've already managed to push through. Okay, that's not good. I'm gonna have to pull this back. Go a little bit more defensive. Okay, never mind. Screwed that up. Alright, let's try this location right here. I uh, probably do want a couple of monks, but uh, we are struggling a little bit for gold, so if we can focus on gathering gold, that'd be ideal. Let's see, so still pushing in, focusing down the towers for now. Uh, our trebs are mostly dead, I think. This one's still alive, but it's outside the walls. Probably going to be focused down pretty soon. This one's still alive, so let's try and focus down the next one we can see. Uh, Saladin himself apparently is attacking. I'm not sure that's historically accurate, but okay. What else have we got? If we can get the Bombard Tower upgrade, that's definitely an interesting option, but uh, we need to be pretty careful with our gold for now. Make sure we keep as many halberdiers coming in as we can. They're not ideal for what the current fights we're taking. But we do have lots of spare resources for those. I'm going to try and convert the Blister Elephant. Hopefully we can survive. And yeah, I think Knights are still going to be pretty good here. So let's keep those coming. So yeah, we have a really good amount of wood here. So let's keep the skirmishes coming. Uh, castle has gone up. I think we start off with murder holes. Crap, they managed to take down a Fittoria. Okay, that's not good. Let's see, what can we do? A little bit of panic going on here, but they do seem to be coming in from mostly the same direction, so it should be manageable. And I think the initial attack is going to be a lot worse than what follows. Not sure how my ally's holding up. Let's have a look. Seems to be in trouble, although this yellow player on the kind of eastern side of the map is not attacking with anything particularly scary, so I'm not going to panic too much about that just yet. I think we're in a worse situation ourselves. So I think they've actually blocked themselves in here with their own barracks. I'm not completely sure, but that's kind of how it looks to me. Let's see, so they've got Mamelukes coming in. That's pretty much what you'd expect. Um, they do start off with a few camel archers by the looks of it, so if we can take those out, they're not going to come back. Let's try and take out as much economy as we can from within our walls. We've got a few spare units up here, which we'll bring along. A couple of extra monks. Uh, let's keep the villages coming. Okay, so we have lost the one Fatoria. But that's not necessarily too bad just yet. We've got a few more. Castles can produce cataphracts, which I'm not sure are going to be the best use of our resources right now. Let's see, so initial attack appears to have been rebuffed. We've got a, a few rams there, but I'm, I'm fairly happy just to leave them be for now while we build up a bit and try and figure out a bit more of a long-term approach. Okay, so lots of halberdiers coming. Got a good few skirmishes too. We do have 500 pop limit, so we can afford to just keep producing for as long as possible. Definitely want to be focused on gathering up as much gold as we can. And so that's something I should have, of course, done something about is I do have a lot of units here, which is going to help us make a push potentially at some point. Uh, Belisarius is our leader. Uh, we also have a king, and I'm not sure if we lose if the king dies, but obviously we don't want to be sending him along. So let's tuck him into town center or a castle if we can. Uh, we do have docks and things as well. I think I can probably use those as part of the attack. Let's see, so... Bombard cannon here, we're going to try and focus down some of the rams. Give it some time for the rest of our units to catch up, but uh, this particular area looks completely fine for us to go and attack. Skirmisher here should be able to handle. Camel Rider, completely fine, or Camel Archer. Let's pull back, see if we can lure them in. And I think we're mostly going to push with Bombard Cannons. 
Objectives are not at all informative, it just says wave 1, I'm not sure if that's ever going to actually update or not, I'm not sure if there is a wave 2 incoming, but uh, we need to be prepared for that. Just in case. Otherwise, I believe you win the map by actually defeating the opposing players, so that's the main thing to be focused on, as uh, yeah, we do have a pretty good force here. Let's try and stay out of range of the castle, and send our bombard cannons to focus those down if we can. So yeah, this can be played as a multiplayer map. I'm not sure how well balanced it is for that. It seems relatively manageable so far in single player. I do particularly like that you start off with Fatorias, just because that is obviously in normal circumstances. That's something you only get to experience as the Portuguese. And, and the Byzantines aren't too far off the Portuguese. They are a pretty similar civilization in a lot of ways. But it's still a nice touch. Okay, researching Bombard Tower. Uh, we don't have a huge amount of spare food, so probably don't want to go for that just yet. So they're actually doing okay for gold now, so let's try and focus as much as we can on Siege. And uh, I'm going to pull back until we manage to take down a couple more castles. So throwing up another town centre, that's fine. Was that... I'm not sure if that was Belisarius who just died there, I hope not. Uh, if it was, then... No, I think it was just a cataphract. I was going to say, if it was, then clearly there are no consequences to that. I'm not actually sure where he is. But I don't think we want to push in just yet. So let's see. Let's check out our ally, see how he's doing. So we're actually... we're being bombarded by a trebuchet here, but that's fine. It's just going to take down our walls. These walls are pretty much purely aesthetic. They're not going to make much of a difference to the fight, ultimately. So I'm not going to worry about that. Uh, let's send a few fishing ships out. Let's see, so still handling things pretty much fine here. Gonna have to go focus down this mangonel. So we've got five bombard cannons, that's going to really help us with our push, and uh, if we can get ourselves into the opposing economy, I think that's going to be pretty much the key to winning. There's another castle going up over there, I need to focus this thing down if we can. Not sure a treb is a great matchup, but we're going to have to see what we can do. I think we're going to get it. Okay, that was good. Uh, let's get a few monks over. They're going to help heal, if nothing else. We are being converted quite a lot. Try and focus down this monk. And as the Byzantines, we do of course get cheap camels, so let's get the upgrade to Heavy Camel Rider. And let's start producing a few of those, as we're pretty much running out of resources now, so time to start producing a few extra villages. Uh, let's try and get a few more farms up, as this is clearly overcrowded. Let's see, what else can we use? So this is also extremely overcrowded. Uh, we're going to have to... Either find some more gold, or kind of refocus our economy a bit. So there is plenty, and this is not the best location for a stable. Uh, there is plenty of wood available at least. Okay, let's free these guys up. Okay, so there's some more gold over towards the edge of the town. Let's see, so a lot of you guys I think can go work on this. Let's see how's this holding up. Seems fairly okay for now. Lots of conversion going on, but that's fine. Uh, let's try and focus down some of these unit production buildings. actually see where these conversions are happening, but I just seem to have the conversion sound constantly going off in my ear. Let's see, so we'll take down the docks. I'm not sure if they can actually produce navy. I assume they can, especially if it's meant to be a multiplayer map. 
Seem to have a lot of resources for castles too. Okay, so we've got a few spare villages here. They were working on farms, but let's instead try and get away with a castle drop if we can. We do have a bit of momentum going for us right now, but have to be pretty careful of the opposing mangonels mostly. Quite a few monks and things too. But we do have a few monks of our own, so let's bring those up and manage to take out one opposing mangonel there. Let's try and take out a couple of these monasteries because they're clearly giving us some bother. Okay, so let's see if we can get a bit more food. Should be pretty doable with the docks. Not sure how safe these are, but they should be pretty safe. Our allies are still holding out. It's pretty much a stalemate on this side, but it uh, looks like yellow has the better trebs. Okay, let's try and focus down the monasteries because those monks are proven to be extremely annoying. Okay, I think what we need to do is we need to try and push into their economy a bit because they're clearly it is the hardest AI, and they're clearly... Uh, and I think they're clearly outproducing us right now. Lots of space here for farms. Yeah, definitely need food. Let's see, so... We're doing fine for gold now, definitely, so let's try and reprioritize a few of these guys. Don't have crop rotation yet, so let's obviously get that. Start reseeding our farms. The basic things I probably should have started doing a long time ago, but been focusing on making the push on this side. Did lose the castle foundation, which is pretty annoying. That's obviously a big waste of resources, but we do have a total of 3,500 stone. So obviously need to take advantage of that. Let's bring these over too, because they're not doing too much, and uh, I'm pretty sure they can help us push. Uh, and this thing is just going to focus on attacking buildings. As, yeah, it looks like we're mostly just down to our siege now. So I need to really start sending in few other types of units. Can get the Arbalest upgrade potentially. Uh, although Heavy Cavalry Archer I think is going to be the best use of our resources right now. They do cost they do cost quite a lot of uh, gold but that's fine we can afford that. It's mostly just food and wood that we need. And these guys, let's try and focus down the town centers and things. Oh, See how these guys are doing. So it looks like I, th I think they're probably losing, so I need to go and help out there. But first, let's deal with our own Saracen problems. See, so yeah, I'm pretty sure Belisarius must be dead by now. There's actually a castle going up there, so let's go and focus that down. Not sure if I've... Okay, they're really starting to outproduce me. I'm not sure if I've... Uh... Got my bombard cannons left or not. Let's try and get rid of that castle. Okay, so we did manage to successfully take down the castles. A lot of these are villages, so no need to panic just yet. They're not all military. 
but we're gonna need a lot more than this. Let's see, so we do have quite a few monasteries. Let's try and produce a few monks. We've got plenty of gold for that, definitely. Should have already been doing that. Okay, let's see. So I think we've managed to... We've definitely done some damage to their economy here. This appears to be a dead end, so lots of easy kills for our galleons. And uh, let's actually start sending in a few extra galleys, because we definitely can get away with that. As, uh, okay, they're pushing against us quite successfully. Let's get a few mangonels. Definitely going to help against this very archer-based composition. Okay, let's see. So we've got quite a few monks now. Let's see, what can we actually convert that's gonna really help us out? The thing is, I need to get this done pretty quickly, of course, because uh, I think while all this is going on, my ally is being taken out. Uh, the Saracens have actually started producing a bit of a navy now, but we do have our towers here to help us out. Oh, I didn't even realise this. Okay, so the, here are a lot of units that got jammed. I didn't see this until now. Okay, that's gonna really help us make the push. Uh, which we kind of need right now because we're definitely in some trouble here. Try and convert these if we can. I think we got a couple. Okay, so we're doing okay for wood. Try and make sure we really damage the economy. Okay, so he's got heresy, so there's not that much to be gained from the conversions, but still. Okay, they've definitely slowed down. Obviously, they don't have, they don't have a huge amount of space to work with, so um, if, if they do start running out of resources, there's not really a huge amount they can do. I'm kind of surprised they've slowed down as much as they have, because they clearly have quite a lot of gold left over here. They're throwing up an emergency castle, but I'm pretty sure we can take that out. They've definitely lost a lot of momentum on this side, but uh, on the other side, definitely looks like our ally is losing. And we're being harassed now by the Yellow Navy as well, which is causing some problems. Okay, I think we still need to deal with our main opponent first, before we focus on that. Let's see, so Castle doesn't look like it's going to go up. Got loads of monks. As yeah, we've definitely squashed their economy here, they're really pushed to the edge of the map. And uh, that castle is just about to go down. Yeah, they do have plenty of resources though, so they don't have a huge amount of space, but... Definitely, I think, player versus player. Uh, either player would still have plenty of resources left at this point, uh, as we do in our base. But we've definitely pretty much crushed this particular opponent, so time to switch focus to the other now. Hopefully before our allies get taken out. I think definitely our docks are going to be pretty heavily involved here, so let's see. Let's get Cannon Galleon. And that might actually be enough. Our allies might be able to push on the other side. Um, we probably don't really need to use our land units too much. Obviously, we do have a couple of transport ships that we can use if we need to. Uh, this might just be a map design flaw. I'm not really sure what's happening here. Either that or the pathfinding is experiencing its usual problems. But actually, yeah, this appears to be a dead end. So that's something... Oh, I see. There's a hidden relic. 
Okay, so it's not really a pathfinding problem, there's just a relic I hadn't noticed until now. Okay, that's fine. Let's uh, let's go pick that up, we've got loads of monks free. Huge number of cavalry arches, and uh, this thing is... It's gonna be a little bit hard to take down unless we actually focus on it with our siege. I believe Manganels, even in Imperial Age, do still outrange town centers, which yes they do. So we've pretty much defeated this guy. Let's switch completely to focusing on this side. And uh, we do still need a bit more gold income. But we can start moving into the opponent's base now. I've already got one. Okay, we'll delete that. A little bit overcrowded here, but that's fine. We can start moving across to the other side. Our castle finally goes up. I, I think I only sent the one villager to do that, to be fair, and I, I definitely don't need to put this one up. On the other side, though, I think we could probably benefit from a few extra castles. Let's drop one here. Hopefully that will be able to do some damage to the sea tower here. Our ally is definitely in trouble, so let's start trying to focus down at least a few of these units. And... I did actually look up this siege, and it said something it said something about Greek fire um, being key to winning this fight. I think in this particular scenario though, probably just normal galleons is going to be most helpful. Uh, I don't have too many great ships here, so I'm going to try and pull our opponents back towards our towers and castles if we can. Uh, this particular one is going to be able to take out a couple of galleons very quickly. Try and take out their docks too. Uh, I think I should be able to stay out of range here. With this one. Uh, my gate's not locked, so I'm not sure why I can't move. Yeah, seems fine. I'm not sure why I didn't move. Okay. Maybe get away with a few conversions. Okay, so Trev is starting to focus us down. But that's fine, we can easily take that out. Uh, they've actually got Osman here. Who I assume won't respawn, so if we can take him out, that's good. Relic has been picked up. We can now think about dropping off a few of our units on the other side. I'm going to focus down the docks before I focus down the trebs because we've got plenty of stone to put up more castles if we need to. Wood, Ally wants wood. We can definitely afford to spare a bit of that. I'm not sure how we suddenly have so much of it. I'm kind of surprised by that. All relics have been captured, yeah, so I, I'm not sure this works as a multiplayer map because my impression is uh, it definitely favours the Byzantines, I could be wrong. I think you start off with a potentially a slightly smaller force at the start. Not got much range on these. But it's fine, we've managed to protect the castle for now. Let's see, is there any actual other way across? Doesn't look like it, there are no shallows or anything, so... You have got to use transport ships. So, economy is looking very healthy, so let's focus mostly on navy. A 
because uh, our forces, I think, I think they have at least slowed down the yellow player enough to enable Gray to make some kind of recovery. He's going for town centers for now instead of castles, but uh, he might just not have a lot of stone to spare. I thought I did have a couple of villages on this side. They might have been taken out. Either that or we're about to send some over. But yeah, let's keep the units coming. And uh, we should still have quite a few left over here. Yeah, we have all these monks potentially if they do make it over in time. Not sure they will. Do want to try and win the map before uh, our relics win it for us. Because of course we do just start off with the relic right there. Um, but it's possible that the map is intended to be played. Our oh, Belisarius is still alive. Okay. It's possible that the map is intended to be played on uh, conquest mode, but obviously if you do play it on standard mode it's it's pretty easy to kick off that timer. And so we are able to start really bringing down the yellow economy now. And we've still got lots of units ready to come across. I'm not going to risk Belisarius himself because if him losing causes me to lose, then uh, obviously that would be highly embarrassing. Wood, not sure what he's done with all that wood I already gave him. He doesn't seem to have built that much as far as I can tell. Okay, so he's got an elephant archer there, which I'm kind of surprised hasn't already been killed. Uh, he's got no room to expand into, so easy enough to really take down most of these villages. Uh, they don't appear to want to garrison. Okay, I think we should be pretty safe to push into the town. Monks have made it across. Okay, and Grey is helping the push with the trebs, so that's good. Once that guard tower goes down, they don't really have much left to defend with. Uh, I'm not sure why they're so unwilling to garrison their town centre. That's slightly strange behaviour. I guess... I guess our galleons here are out of, are out of range, but um, they're all trying to escape via the same route and it's a complete massacre. They are going down very quickly. Let's try and take out the town centre uh, as we still got 116 years left which I think should be enough although we do have to take out every last unit. Obviously I win either way but I, I am just trying to convince myself I didn't need the relics, which of course I didn't, but still. So yeah, it's definitely an interesting map. I think it's it's really well designed. Uh, it's, it's probably a pretty good challenge for newer players. Could probably have tried it with the extreme AI in hindsight. One thing I would say about this is, at least in its current form, uh, the map, the mod that you have to download in order to get the map um, didn't work for me. I had to manually go into the folder and move the map file across, which is easy enough to do if you know where the right folders are, but uh, it's potentially a little bit counterintuitive. So if you do want to try the map yourself, uh, just bear that in mind. You will have to probably have a look at your internal files and move things around a bit. Okay, let's see. So there's a bombard tower there. We don't actually need to take that out to win the game. Yeah, we're going to be able to do this with plenty of time to spare, so that's good. I think I might actually have Belisarius over here. I'm not sure where he is. Plenty of every resource now. Still is highly inefficient. Yeah, 
Yeah, I don't think they have any other units on the water or anything like that. In fact, I'm, I can clearly see they don't. So it's probably just this stable and this barracks that need to go down now. I don't have too much siege on this side. Not sure if I have a villager here or not. Doesn't look like it. Okay, let's try and bring a villager across because we definitely need a few trips. I guess I do have enough monks that I might just be able to uh, heal up faster than the towers can take out my units. Let's have a look, yeah, definitely. Okay, so I, I will be safe to do this with just the cavalry arches and things, but uh, we definitely need to take down the stables. I'm gonna meet my objective. I have just 47 years left to go, I'm not sure that's gonna be enough, let's see. Are there any obvious villagers here? Here's Belisarius, so we have found him. Villagers on their way. I'm going to want to throw up a quick siege workshop if I can. So, okay, looks like Grey has managed to reach it anyway, uh, and then it's going to be the barracks next, so that's going to be it. It's actually going to go for the conversion on the barracks. I guess that's one way to win. I think that's it. Yes, it is. Okay, so there we go. That was definitely uh, a really nice looking map. Um, and it, I, I do think that's relatively well balanced. I think that could be good. Obviously, if you're playing with friends, uh, you can, of course, adjust the teams. If you if you do feel that purple has the easiest time, uh, then you can, of course, get a friend, your best friend. Not your best friend, but your, your most skilled friend to play as the Byzantines. That might be a little bit easier, or a little bit more balanced at least, uh, for everyone involved. Obviously, uh, two of the players do have a much more substantial landmass and uh, map section to work with, whereas two of the other players have a, a much smaller scale battle to focus on. Um, but there should be plenty to do for all four players involved. In order to win the scenario, players that are the Arab invading forces must burn the Hajj Sophia and conquer the city. I, I have a feeling that's not supposed to be the aftermath, um, but I'm sure that's something the map creator can fix and hopefully will. Uh, I think this map is quite a few months old now, but um, I think it's definitely appealing enough in its map design that it deserves a bit of attention, I think. But yeah, that is the end of the Siege of Constantinople. I hope you guys found it interesting. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.